And now, it's story time with your host, Carl Childers. Mm. I guess I ain't no spring chicken no more. I'm pretty old and give out. Ain't got no gays. <laughs> I reckon as you get on in years, Erm, it's a good idea to take care of yourself. <coughs> I went to the doctor last week. Had me one of them deals where they check out your hind end. <laughs> they call it something like a colonoscopy. <laughs> I can tell you about it if you want me to. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if you don't, I ain't got nothing. <laughs> Love to hear about that. <laughs> You'll like it. It's based on all my experiences. Yeah, well. <laughs> First off, you got to go in there and meet the doctor. Some folks call him a physician. I called him a doctor. I reckon they want to meet you on account it's a good idea to shake hands with him before he gets started. Because <laughs> you probably ain't going to want to afterwards. <laughs> I go to that young fella, Doc Stevenson, over there to the hospital. He's a very handsome man. Smiles a lot. I can't figure out what makes a fella decide he's going to make a living looking up folks' backsides. <laughs> Seems kindly funny to me. Not funny, ha ha. <laughs> funny queer. That must be a pretty good wage in it. Or maybe he just weren't smart enough to be a dentist. <laughs> I hear tell he's pretty good at his job. I know a feller named Royce from up there to the nervous hospital. He went to him. Not for a colonoscopy. He swallowed some car keys, a couple of writing pens, and a tennis ball. <laughs> On account of he's crazy. <laughs> Doc Stevenson, he, he got them out quick as a wink. Roy said he never felt a thing. I can't rightly figure out how he did that. You ever see a tennis ball? <laughs> Maybe it is magic like them fancy boys in Las Vegas do. Well, sir. I reckon I didn't care none for the part where you gotta get ready for the colonoscopy. They give you this potion to drink care of. He said it was something called a laxative. <laughs> he said I ought to be sure to be close by the toilet when I take it. Well, that ain't exactly right. You can't be close by. You gotta be right there on it. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second or two to figure that one out. That there laxative plumb whooped the tar out of me and everything else. <laughs> I tell you, I don't know where it all came from. I was up all night flushing in shifts. <laughs> the next morning, <laughs> the next morning you go in there to the hospital, have that whole shebang done. You wander in this little room there. They got a 50 foot coil of hose pipe hanging on a wall. A big old air compressor. <laughs> I asked Doc Stevenson what all that was for. Well, sir, he said they gonna put a camera on the end of that hose pipe, blow some air up into my innards, then take pictures of the inside of my hind end. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I told him I didn't need no pictures of that. I didn't rightly care what it looked like anyhow. Well, he said they had to look for all kinds of warts and goblins and all sorts of stuff that might be off kilter somewhere or another. They have you stripped down bare naked. Mm. They give you this shirt with no back on it so your bottom sticks out. They lay you down on your side on this table arm, tell you to sniff out of this cup. Well, I started to sniff and just as I was going to tell him he didn't have to use all 50 feet of that hose pipe, I sort of faded out. <laughs> While I was out, I had me a nightmare where I was a glove and this big old hand was chasing me. I didn't understand that part of it. I woke up all of a sudden. I couldn't feel my backside. I said, what'd you kill a feeling in my butt fur? What'd you kill a feeling in my butt fur? <laughs> I don't know what happened, but when I woke up, there's a tennis ball sitting there. <laughs> I reckon he didn't find nothing, nothing bad anyhow. 
I hope I ain't got to do that again. Uh, Moral of the story, if a feller's going to put a hose pipe in your backside, make sure he's been to school for it. <laughs> and if you do a good job, they might give you a tennis ball. <laughs> the end. Story time is brought to you by Hargrave's Potted Meat Product. Chock full of peckers and lips since 1937. I got some hose pipe out in the truck, little feller. <laughs> <laughs>